GTS. What do these three letters mean to you? Well, that kind of depends on who you are. If you're a millennial, it could mean go to sleep. If you're a car enthusiast, it should mean Gran Turismo or Gran Touring. But for one German car manufacturer, the GTS badge signifies cars that can handle hairpin turns, rough terrain, wind, rain, and do so without losing their edge. And today, on Bin Cars Room Channel, we present to you the 2020 Porsche Macan GTS. And before we touch on the traditional bits that make the Macan GTS special, let's highlight some design features of this car. We start at the front, and specifically this bonnet. It features cutouts for the headlamps and make for a seamless look when shut. Is this the only modern car that has this feature? Let us know in the comments below. And at the back, Porsche have cleverly hidden the hatch opening button here. Brilliant! The GTS badge basically gets you more glossy or matte black trims on the outside. Like the headlamps surround on these standard LED headlamps, the window trims, the rear diffuser, and these sports exhaust tips. The GTS variants for Porsche have always represented the best compromise between practical power and driver engagement. What do we mean by that? The GTS sits between the more hardcore turbo versions and the slightly more sedate S variants in Porsche's lineup. With 375 horsepower, from a 2.9-litre hot V-twin turbo engine, this Macan GTS can get you to 100 km an hour in under 5 seconds. And I think those numbers hit the sweet spot for usable power for our local roads. When you step into the Macan GTS, you're immediately aware of its intentions. Alcantara everywhere you look. The seat centres, the door handles and the front centre console cover. Now, we get to why this car makes you feel so connected to it. Driver engagement. You use the key in the traditional way, inserting and turning it to start the engine. In any other modern car, this may be a minor inconvenience. But here, ah uh ah. -uh. And when you select the gears through this gear lever, you get a satisfying clunk, something that will soon be a thing of the past. And while this car also receives the latest infotainment screen as its siblings, you do get a whole lot more buttons. And you know, I do prefer actual tactile buttons or things that can be adjusted with just one click. Of course, this car is still based on a practical SUV. So you can expect decent space for both passengers and cargo. Does it then make this the Porsche Macan GT SUV? Let's have this discussion at our showrooms at either 24 Linky Road or on Level 2 at AML in the East. Our relationship managers will be more than happy to have a chat with you. Thank you for watching Vincar's Room Channel and we'll see you next time.